Hello everybody, welcome back to Access. My name's Nathan and I'm here with Dave. Hello. Dave, we're still playing Dying Light. Yeah, we can't get enough. And there is a reason we can't get enough. Even though we, we haven't even got the full game yet, but we have got lots of weapons. Yes, there is one thing that uh, Dying Light is full of other than zombies, it's weapons. And even though I don't think, I think probably you get to a stage if you actually do the story, bang, if you do the story missions where you can probably get loads of weapons. But for us, we've had to eke out you know, we yeah. and we found some cool stuff, mostly in the form of custom weapons. So we've made a video basically about the best ways to kill zombies. Yeah. That's basically what we've done here. This is the first one, Nath. You get yourself a pry bar, as they call it in America, pry apparently. Bar. You stick some fire on it. Right. You've got <laughs> you've got a fiery crowbar a fiery fire crowbar. stick. So I believe so this uh, the blueprints give you uh, access to custom weapons and this is the first one that we're showing you you basically combine elements like poison or fire poison isn't an element fire electricity <laughs> or but you can pick up uh, like toxic lichen and make poison weapons and then the effects are carried on to the things that you smash up yeah so it's not like um you, ha you have to find these blueprints they're not just instantly available to you and then once you found the, the blueprint you still have to then find like the ingredients yes so, so you need like a base weapon and then like the you weapon. can't use any blueprint on, on any weapon uh, and then you need the ingredients, and this is yeah, this is just a fine example. Oh. Boom! Uh, and then, well, and the weapon also is it's, it's no more. Yeah, so they still break. Yeah, exactly. Well, that I wanted to show <laughs> that the best thing to do is throw them when they break, and that leads nicely into the next weapon, which is which the is this oh, the sickle of flipping death. Death, absolute. Uh, this is so. This has had Ben Franklin's key is the blueprint applied right. to it, which basically just electrifies. I think it's any melee weapon, so it can be one-handed or double-handed. Um, and the great thing about this, actually, a lot, most of these weapons that I've chosen are just so they so quick. I mean, I think the weapons get better as we go on as well, because obviously the damage inflicted by the base weapon affects how strong the weapon is afterwards anyway. Yeah. Um, I love that the conductingness, because you can also separately manufacture conductive, you just got to like throwing it. <laughs> yeah, you've got to throw them when you they're can, done. You can keep making conductive, uh, like, liquid, and then... Yeah, hit exactly. People with Ben Franklin's key, and it just goes. Make a massive. So this is. is this, this I was now? throwing those weapons. This has led nicely onto something else that you can throw, which is exploding throwing stars. Um, so you get all kinds of of throwing stars. Again, they're they're blueprinted up. You start off with just the standard one. This is exploding one, which is just really this quite pleasing. This is my favourite. This is probably my favourite thing in the game. Just the way they sit down so fast. Sit down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they really do. Straight through the. It roof. doesn't do a lot of like. Um, Using them when you're running though. Uh, it's not like got a massive area of effect or anything. It's just really, look at him fly. <laughs> look at him go. I was trying to light up that Whoa. petrol, but that was sure. even what happened was better. They cut through the air so nicely as well. They sort of <laughs> twist through the air, and you feel like you've you've done quite well when you actually hit something. There's loads them. of throwing weapons. Sure. You can get you can get grenades like freezing throwing stars, but the exploding ones they're, yeah. they're my favourite and best. And if I've put this in, you, you know baseball bats they're good. Yeah. But you know what's better than a baseball bat? <laughs> I'm a big one. It's this look at this. I love this. <laughs> it felt so good to do that. No, it's a cricket bat. It's a oh, better I sport, see. and a cricket bat the with nails in and then electricity <laughs> applied to it is I, an even better. I believe one. this was a superior cricket bat in the first place. Look at these humans, gone. That's it. <laughs> Death. They had now. no idea what was happening. I am sorry, humans. This is always a good test of a weapon. You take it into a crowd of people. Can you check out this? What this is called? It is like a knife through butter. What? The, what this? I think this is. Is this the Exorcist? I think it's the Exorcist, which is electricity and bleeding damage. Right, okay. So it does two kinds of damage. It just oh. cuts through every. Look at this. Doom. Next. Bye. And it makes a really pleasing cricket bat sound as well. <laughs> it's like. It's, my, look at that. My so only much problem with it is that the cricket bat, he sometimes holds it backwards. Well, he does always hold it backwards. What's this now? This is uh, a sledgehammer with electricity applied to it. And this is the first two handed weapon we've got in the list. It might be the only two handed weapon we've got in the list, actually. And so the, this, when you've got a single handed weapon and you've unlocked it, yeah. you can sort of charge up your attack. I know that is mental, isn't it? With a double handed weapon, and you, uh, you, you can unlock a. A 360 swing, yeah. which is great it's with actually, this. It's important to say how well you're doing here, because this weapon is so slow to use normally. It's got a real timing that you have to learn. Oh. I, I first picked it up, and I was just getting bitten left, right, and centre. But you can demolish crowds with it. Yeah, and it is. It sort of is surprisingly nimble. If you you sta you've got to stand away from the zombie, start swinging, and then move step. in. Uh, I like this. Oh, he's having a little disco. Yeah, he really is. I don't think he's dead yet. Bit of that. There's the 360 spin. It's so good at just taking down. It just feels really good. They just sort of disappear. You, you stand up and they've all just gone. 
Next man. up, it's oh. gun time. Oh man, so we, we saved our guns for filming this video. Uh, we got we got two, basically a police rifle is one thing we used, and then the pistol. Uh, the people put their hands up when you when you point a gun at them. This is the best thing because pistols. We I think, won't, as we you're going to see, prisoners this day. No, it's because I don't trust them. I don't trust them, and so, boom. Unfortunately, I'm not the best shot. It's it's quite difficult. Uh, it's got like oh, um. Oh, well, I mean, literally I mean, took both his ears off. I think it, with that. it's really like genuinely quite difficult to aim, which is the, the point. Actually, and actually, when you're playing against zombies, uh, sometimes it's better just to. We used a car trap on these guys' names. No. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. So this is the thing you'll see. Like now, just it's it, it's. I mean, if you're a better shot than me, it's okay. But it's a bit fiddly. But it's a um, lot of bullets as well. It really is a lot really of bullets, expensive. and they're not they're not easy to come by. Guns aren't you, easy you to come by. You killed one of the zombies. In I the saw that. That was quite good. But, but <laughs> this yeah, is a big. But. This is what guns are good for. First of all, that was a little skittles shot. Watch her fly here. She's gonna fly. <laughs> Woohoo! And then I get eaten straight away. So there are these barrels everywhere, and there are a few different ways to tackle them. For ages, I couldn't really work out how to get them to properly work. That was good, wasn't it? That was last ditch effort. Uh, and then we got the gun, and it just became it's like it's like the magic wand that, <laughs> <laughs> that just unlocks the power of, of. I spent a lot of this morning doing this. <laughs> just because there's some things that, that explode, this and if you're good. near to them, they just kill you. The blast you radius. That, this was a good one. Oh, oh, and he's on fire to boot. Um, but you can also, this is the other way of, of using the barrels. Yeah. This is the next one. You have to hit, hit them, them and then get back. <laughs> Throw, run. That was quite fortuitous, that one, I thought. It is quite dangerous. This was, uh, use the Molotov to light Oof. that massive barrel. Those bar barrels are volatile. They're huge. They are and volatile. And that's killed me. That was like full health. I yeah, exactly. I've put that in because you need to see that. Again, like... <laughs> Picking them up. <laughs> oh god, it is so dangerous. That was a runner as it well. feels so movie. good when you pull it off though to to light one. Hmm, what's happening? <laughs> it's just a rack of dead zombies <laughs> yeah. that I've made. I just, thought, I just quite enjoyed that this is <laughs> the most sadistic thing you've done. Then you burn the dead and they explode as well. And because it's a firecracker, all the zombies go towards it yeah. as well. You really can do some inventive horror. Yeah, you can. Some horrible stuff. Yeah, I think hitting it and then there's like a desperation once, this one once went it's wrong. light. You just look at that. Oh. That was a massive explosion. Because it caught a barrel halfway between us. Yeah, basically stuff exploding is great, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <gasps> so this. Man, I'm obsessed with this bridge. Yeah, I oh need my to God. tell people about this bridge because, basically, like I said, we've only got a preview version of the game, and I kind of wanted to get to the other bit of the city, and I, I think it's over this bridge. So I spent ages climbing up this bridge. <laughs> and you can trying see. To, trying to find like. I'm not, sh and I wasn't even convinced that there's basically a tower you can climb up, like which is definitely more of like a puzzle. And I didn't know whether you could climb up this cable. So Dave has been with me for the last day and a half as I've been doing this in work time. And We've gone through six dual shocks. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. And I made it to the top. This moment there was the scream you you guys may have heard at home. Yeah. Uh, as, I, as I finally reached the top, because it's windy, it's super hard, and our like our free running is already leveled up, so I'm pretty good at balancing and stuff. Um, first of all, the view's amazing. Which is, you know, nice. And then we were just hoping there would be something cool at the top. And there was, Dave. Yes, there was. What There's was a there? blueprint. Surprise! Surprise, mother. MFs, Absolutely. my friends. And I'd say this is the second very, very cool thing we found in Dying Light. Because we also found XP Calibre, which we haven't included in this video. Which was no. just a sword, which just hacked people to flipping bits that we pulled out it of the stone. It was great, but so it did blunt. It did. So go back into If you want to see that, go into our video, which is... Um, uh, seven things you must do in dying light, but this is basically the, the best weapon that we found and we put it with a, b a police baton That was already pretty hardcore. It does toxic and electric yeah. effects at the same time. Oh my god And, and it's it, just a mess. It is unbelievable and uh, I was watching this back Nathan You'll see a few people just fly off. They properly fly <laughs> off like there you go. Boom It's yeah. like uh, I was thinking it's like Voldemort's wand or something. It's like the Deathly Hallow. And it's really hard because I mean, like we said in a previous oh. video that when you wade into these crowds of people, like oh, it, look it, at that. it's supposed to be hard. You can normally take one or two and then you should back off. But with this thing, we're just like striding into like dozens of them and as you can see, waving it around like a flipping magical one. The police oh. baton is, is, is quite a good weapon anyway because it's really it's nimble. Skull cracker. But it, that's the thing, it's so nimble. You look how much uh, stamina, that's the that orange bar that is being used every time you swing. It's hardly anything. I've run out of repairs on this thing now, by the way. Oh my god, I'm really? really sad. You yeah. need to put it away and, and save it for a special occasion <laughs> because you just don't come across this it's every monstrous. day. It's monstrous. It's, but having said that, the blueprint isn't... You can. That's the great thing about a blueprint is... 
you know, you can apply it again and again. If we just get all the, all the bits and pieces. That that going up that tower was amazing. That was, was one a, of the most exciting amazing. things I've done in games, you know, for, well, days. It was it was one of those great achievements, were great uh, gaming achievements, because it was that whole thing of can I do it? Like, yeah, can it even be done? I don't know. I do no the developers idea. know it can be done? And I'm sure they do, because I don't know how else you'd get up and get this blueprint. I c- and I surprise, I couldn't get away to the other side of the city, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> that was just, just didn't happen. But thank you for watching that. Um, thank you, Dave, for putting that together. You're for welcome. Us. Uh, and there's loads more of Dying Light on the channel, as we've been talking about. There's three other videos which you can go and see. So do check them out. We might have some more Dying Light for you. We'll certainly have tons more on everything that's coming out. On PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation Vita on the channel. So like this video if you liked it, comment if you want us to show uh, you anything else more about Dying Light, and subscribe if you haven't already because we'd love to have you on the channel with us.